Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my April TBR and we are once again going to be choosing my TBR books out of my TBR jar. If you missed my TBR for last month, I talked about how I'm doing a TBR jar now. This jar has a bunch of challenges inside of it and every month I'm going to be choosing a handful of them and picking out books based on those challenges. But before we get into my April books, let's quickly check in on how I did during March. So in March, I picked out seven books, and out of these seven, I have read five of them, and I'm currently reading the last two. So these are the five that I have completed, and I enjoyed all of these. I gave every single one either four or five stars. And then as of filming this video, I have two days left in the month, and I'm currently in the middle of the last two books I have, so I definitely think that I will be able to finish these up before the month is over. Okay, so now on to my April picks. This month is going to be a little bit challenging because I am also doing the magical readathon. I am going for the career of the Hogwarts professor, so there's seven subject challenges that I have to complete for that. So I'm going to be trying to combine challenges that I pick out of my jar and see if I can make them also work with the magical readathon challenges. But my main goal is to do my jar challenges, so I'm mostly going to be focusing on these and then hopefully able to make them work for the magical readathon. So just a quick reminder of what all of the challenges I have inside the jar are. I put all the ones that I chose last month back in. I don't really want to like keep them out because they're all challenges that I want to keep doing. First pick is this one. Folklore or mythology. So this would be any book that has to do with some type of folklore or mythology. For that one, I'm going to choose a book that I have been wanting to read for years, and that is Circe by Madeline Miller. This may come as a shock to people that I haven't already read this. I've tried to read it many times, and every time I just wasn't really in the mood for Greek mythology, but I'm feeling that now is the time. So this is about Circe, who is the daughter of Helios, and she discovers that she has magical abilities and that she's a witch. Zeus, fearing her power, banishes her to a deserted island. And I am so excited for this. I know that this is a book that people really, really love. So I'm really hoping that I love it as well. All right. The next one is this, Most Recent Purchase. So my most recent purchase is The Deep by Alma Katsu. I talked about this in my five-star predictions video. I am very excited about this book. It is a historical horror novel set on the Titanic, and there are ghosts. So this one just sounds really cool. Also, this is probably my favorite cover that I've seen all year. And like I said, this was a five-star prediction, so I'm really, really hoping that I love it. All right, the next one is... Here we go. Published this year. So I have tons of books that I could have chosen for this one, but I ended up going for The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. This was sent to me by the publisher, and it just sounds so amazing. This is a magical book about this guy who works in the department in charge of magical youth, and he is given this job assignment to go to this orphanage at the edge of the sea where these six very magical children live who have been told that they are going to bring about the end of days with their magic. So he's supposed to go there and like assess their risk and like how dangerous are they actually. And while he's there, he meets the master of the orphanage. And I believe that this is queer. It might be a male male romance, not 100% sure. I do know that this author writes male male romances. And literally everything I know about this book just sounds like it's gonna be really cute and fun and quirky. Sean and McGuire blurbed it and said that this book is very close to perfect. I'm gonna take that as the recommendation that I need. The next one. Ooh, okay. Sapphic. So that means a book with a sapphic character or a sapphic romance. So I have a ton of books that I could choose for this, but I think I'm going to go with a shorter one. And that is Miranda in Milan by Catherine Duckett. This is a retelling of The Tempest by Shakespeare. And it is female, female. That's all I really know about it, but I am super excited. I've mentioned this before. I tend to really like Shakespeare retellings. Here we go, a sapphic book. All right, the next one 
is this. Ooh, okay, five star prediction. I already have one five star prediction on here. Most of the books that were on my five star prediction were uh, pretty long. So I think I'm going to pick Silver in the Wood by Emily Tesh. I don't actually own a physical copy of this, but I did just um, buy the ebook. And this is one that I'm really, really excited for. I mentioned in that video that this is a book that people recommend me all the time. It is about Faye and I believe it has a male male romance and it takes place in like a magical forest so I'm super excited for that and I actually may end up reading the sequel because I did get an arc of that. Alright the next one the first book in a series. Okay, so the one that I picked I don't fully know if it's a series. Goodreads does say that this is number one, so I'm gonna assume that it is. So the one I chose is Phoenix Unbound by Grace Draven. This is an adult fantasy romance. So basically this takes place in an empire where every year each town is required to send a woman from their town to be burned at the stake and sacrificed. But for the last five years, this one village has been sending the same woman every year because she is a witch. And so every year she has been taking on this role and going to be burned and then like coming back to life so that other girls don't have to be sacrificed. But this year something goes wrong and the empire's most famous gladiator is able to see through her illusion and he uses that information to blackmail her and get her to use her power to help him get out of his enslavement. So yeah, this sounds really good and this is an author that I have really been wanting to read something from and I'm a big fan of fantasy romances. Let's do one more. Last one. <laughs> <laughs> what would you know? I picked romance. Of course I did. This is the only one that I think I've repeated. Okay, that took me forever to decide. I had way too many options, but I did settle on something, so I chose My Life in Shambles by Karina Halley. Um, so this is about a girl who has this resolution to start saying yes to adventures um, and it leads her to end up in this tiny town in Ireland and she becomes fake engaged to Ireland's top rugby player. So it's about this fake engagement. I really love this author's books, so I'm hoping that this is really good. So here are the books on my April TBR, not including Silver in the Wood. I feel like this is a really good mixture of books. I've got a lot of different genres here, so hopefully during the month of April I can read all of these books and then I will come back in my May TBR and let you guys know how I did. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!